Hi, welcome to this video uh, or series of videos. I will be discussing the Unit 1 of uh, Grade 9 book issued by the DepEd in the Philippines. Um, the first unit uh, is all about, uh, sorry for that sound, it's all about quadratic equations and equality inequalities as I wrote here. So that means we are be dealing with this sign a lot, with this sign, with this sign, and uh, this sign. So you need to be very familiar with them. This is the equality sign that we use. Sign that we use in the Philippines. Uh, for example, this one is a is greater than 3, for example. Then that means 3 is not a is greater than 3. That means 3 is not included. So if I have a number line and this is 3, a is greater than 3. That means there is your a and then you have that one that means 3 is not included it's a different thing a is less than negative 2 for example uh, a is less than sorry for that a is less than negative 2 so if this is our Uh, number line here is negative 2 then we're talking about this one and we have like that that means 2 is not included and uh, that is a very uh, different thing when we called a is greater than or equal to 3 because of this sign this one says that they are equal to 3 so if I will use the same this is your 3 then I will put around like that some use a bracket to indicate but I think in the Philippines we're using this that is what I learned when I when I studied in the Philippines so this one can read a is greater or greater than or equal to to 3 and this one is a is less than or equal to negative 2 a is less than or equal to negative 2 let's continue uh, Maybe in grade sub, grade 8, you discuss about linear functions or linear equations. Linear equations. They always look like this. 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Why it is called linear? Because the highest degree is 1. In this uh, chapter, or in this... Uh, unit in grade 9 we will be discussing quadratic equation quadratic equation it is always look like this ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 a cannot be equal to 0 why because when a is 0 then this whole thing will be 0 then you have you are back to to linear equation we're not discussing about quadratic equation then if if a is equal to 0 so a is not equal to 0 uh, there is a possibility that uh, b is equal to 0 then it will look like this ax squared plus c is equal to zero can you you can see that bx uh, disappeared because b is zero then x bx will be zero also 
and um, why is it important to know because you should know the different uh, appearance of quadratic equation it doesn't matter if it is uh, uh, only two terms it's not always uh, three terms or trinomial they can it can be two terms only it can be one term uh, it can look like this ax squared is equal to zero so c is also zero but now I will be discussing when c alone is zero so it will look like this ax squared plus bx is equal to zero this three have different things to solve a uh, different ways to solve them uh, I will be I will discuss them later um, this is just in, in introduction but I want to show you also how the graph of a quadratic equation look like or quadratic uh, function uh, you will I will not going to to discuss quadratic function until uh, uh, the module 2 yeah it is in the unit in this unit also so it's oh, I will show you a little bit wait okay here is the the graph of uh, a quadratic a quadratic uh, function and um, it looks like this it is always a parable it depends on the a the a will give you the idea that uh, if a is negative if positive then it will look like this it will look like this the parable but if a is negative maybe I can use also when a is 0 oh sorry when a is 0 what I said like what I said then like that it is a, a linear linear line or it is a straight line but if it's negative then you can see that uh, we have this graph I will put that in on that okay and the C is always the the constant I will change the C now it's a little bit you can see now the C is always on the Y axis it's like that okay so if it's positive it looks like that if it's negative it, it looks like that the C is always on the so it always look like a parable what is important here that I will be discussing later is that we have a, a symmetry line it is like a mirror between two points uh, I will discuss that further later but now it is important for you to know that what we are think thinking when we're when we are um, when we are solving linear equation is that when y is 0 so we are talking talking about these two points here or just one point or no point at all no real uh, solutions as we sh say later so I will just go back here so it is important for you to know now that uh, a cannot be 0 B can be 0 it will look like this and C can be 0 it will look like this and we deal with them differently we will see in the next video see you then